more and more meets these days are using chip timing systems, but the majority of the on the high school level still do not. And uh, so, you know, if you don't have uh, some other kind of system, you know, time machine or whatever other people use, some people just like to record times right within race tab. So here's how you use that option. First of all, um, if you're coming from version three, you know, don't freak out when you don't see the stopwatch here. We did move it. And uh, so where we moved it to is up here in the top menu. So you just expand the top menu and click stopwatch. What you want to do now is you want to give the timing session a name. The default is just the date and time. But if we know this is going to be the girls varsity race, it uh, it's beneficial to give it a name. And uh, that way we can easily know what it is later because race tab does save a copy internally. So what we do next is maybe somebody has grabbed the the start time from the gun. They have a running watch with a start. And uh, so we're going to set this. And that doesn't start it. That sets it up here to 18 minutes. And then when somebody will come over to us and give us the running clock, counting down to 18 minutes in three, two, one. Now we have our running clock in race tab synced up with that time. Now, as people cross the finish line, we can either click the split button with the mouse or if it's in focus. And let me note that we can browse to other windows and this kind of gets out of focus so that we can type in these windows here. But whenever you want to start recording split times, make sure that you um, you click back down here. You can be in a different tab, but you want to click back down here to give it a focus. So then I can start pressing the space bar to capture the splits. And you see we get a running clock over here or a count of the number of splits. Um, we can also, from time to time, if we have a chance, we can do a, a, put a bib number in there just to get a check. Um, so if we ever need to sync up with what we recorded, we do that. And, you know, you see this one has a bib number. So later we can match up and say, oh, that should have been 456, that spot, if things get out of sync or you're missing a time or something like that. It can be helpful. Just a little tip. So once we're done, um, we're going to click stop. And the clock stops. And we can, um, we can either do this manually. We can click save. We can click apply to current event. Or we can just click close. If I close this, it's going to say, do you want to import these times into the current race? Now, the current race is whatever it says up here in the top right. So it says varsity girls 5,000 meter run. So I can say yes. It's going to import those times. And then when I go over to the events tab, we see all those times have been imported into the girls 5,000 meter run. And we can go ahead now and put in our bibs.